Hey, this is Elephant for ADSR. In this video, I want to take a look at a technique I use to quickly get sidechain style pumping effects using Ableton's AutoPan. So I'm sure you're probably familiar with the most common use of sidechaining, where an element in your song is sidechained to the kick drum, so that whenever the kick drum plays, the audio ducks down, which creates a pumping effect like this. So in fact, in this situation, the audio isn't actually being sidechained to the kick, and instead I'm creating the pumping effect using the auto pan. There are a number of reasons why I actually prefer this technique for creating the pumping effect. For one, you can get much more exaggerated effects out of it. To demonstrate, I'll disable the auto pan and enable the compressor, which is sidechained to the kick. So you'll hear that even though I've got some pretty extreme settings on the compressor, the auto pan still gets a much sharper and more exaggerated effect. I'll load up a fresh auto pan and show you how to get this set up. So auto pan, as its name suggests, is intended for automatically panning the sound. So if I turn up the amount, you'll hear the sound move between the left and right speakers. The way AutoPan achieves this is simply by turning the volume of the left and right channels up and down, but doing it out of phase. So when the left is up, the right is down and vice versa, as you can see on the track's meters. However, if we set the phase of the AutoPan to zero degrees, now the channel's volumes will move in sync. So the first thing to do is set the rate of the auto pan to sync. And then let's set it to quarter notes to get the typical four to the floor effect. At the moment, the auto pan is set to sine wave, so we get a smoother modulation, but we can set it to the saw wave to get a sharper modulation. Lastly, we can click the normal and invert button to switch the direction of the saw waves. So now we have our pumping effect. At the moment, it's still pretty subtle, but you can use the shape control to adjust the shape of the modulation. And as we turn this up, you'll start to get a much sharper attack. If you go all the way to 100%, you get an on-off effect. You can use the amount control to dial in how much of the effect you want. You can use the offset control to adjust where in the beat the pump is falling with 90, 180, and 270 degrees, giving you alternating divisions of the beat. You can also take this further and adjust the rate control to get completely different rates and stutter type effects. One obvious use for this setup is when you might want to get the quarter note style pump, but your kick drum doesn't fall on the quarter notes. Another interesting addition to this is to duplicate the auto pan and set up two separate effects with cross rhythms. And also don't forget that all of this is automatable, so you can even create pumping effects that change over time.
So you can see that there's quite a lot of utility for this setup and you can use it anywhere you would normally use sidechain compression, as well as take it even further to create unique stutter and pump effects. Thanks for watching and again this has been Elephant for ADSR. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Thank you.